How to update your Ford SYNC 3 system via USB. To start, you'll need a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage formatted to EX FAT. Next, visit the Ford SYNC and Navigation Updates website as seen on the screen or in the description below. If you have a Ford account, you can log in to view your vehicles. If not, you can copy the vehicle's VIN number into the box. After clicking Check for Updates, the website will show any available SYNC and Navigation Updates for your vehicle. You can install via Wi-Fi, USB, or through the Ford dealer. In this video, we are discussing the USB method, so click USB. I would recommend reading through the instructions for both installing and downloading for PC or Mac. Next, click Download Sync Update and wait for the files to download. Make sure the downloads are going to your hard drive and not directly onto the USB drive. Find the zip file from your download and copy it directly onto the USB drive. From there, open the zip file to extract the contents. A new folder should appear with three files inside. Copy or drag those three files onto the general space of the USB or first layer of USB storage. It should look like this after it is complete. Now you can eject the USB drive from your computer and head to the vehicle. Start the vehicle and be sure other USB ports within the vehicle don't have anything plugged into them. Find the front ports in the vehicle and plug the USB drive with the update into it. It may take a few minutes, but the screen should show system updating at the top. Be patient as it may seem like the system is doing nothing, but the update is being performed in the background. Once the update is complete, the system will alert you to unplug your USB drive and then will restart. After the restart, it will show complete with the new version number. If you want to verify the version, you can go to Settings, General, and About Sync. So hopefully you have now successfully updated your Ford Sync 3 system to the latest version. In this case, 3.4 is the latest version, and it did offer some UI changes to the system itself. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future video topics, leave that all in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.